All right, what is up, YouTube? Mozzie back with another video, man. Uh, so today we finna go and get the hell. <laughs> we finna go and get the oil change chains on here, cat. <laughs> so um, now I know a lot of people just go up to like Walmart or something and just pay like seventy five dollars or something like that to get that oil change. Um, I, I don't do that. I think I think most places be like eighty dollars and stuff like that because you go up there and they buy the uh, they buy the oil for you and they buy the the filter for you then and plus for service and all that kind of stuff me personally i don't like to do that uh i like to go and buy my own oil and filter and then go to somewhere else and let my let them you know do it for me now for the most part i don't like my car being lifted in the air i don't like that uh i don't get my oil changed changed at the dealership even if they are the free one i don't like doing it because most of the time it just be for the most part the people that work in like the mechanic part of the dealerships they be people that's learning to open their own shop or go somewhere else they're not like a lot of people that's been working there for a long time and stuff like that if they are they like the supervisor so they don't really do too much they let the little people you know that's been learning or like just gotta you know what's their place like itt tech and stuff like that you know work on the car so it's been a lot of time where they did i went up there got my oil tank they didn't lift parts off my car my car be like completely dirty on the inside the engine bay be like dirty from like oil everywhere so i don't like taking my car to the dealership and getting it worked on at all i always go outside somewhere to get it done like i said i don't like my car being lifted up in the air so much stuff that can go wrong i like it you know just to keep it on the ground when they go like under the ground and change the oil so uh you finna go and get that done so y'all ride with me I so as you can see man it was pretty urgent that i get like you know my oil change look at that look at that seven percent <laughs> so they just show you bro like i'm taking a huge risk i'm seven percent and i barely got gas you see that so I'm out here just risking life today. I guess I'm just taking risks today. So we finna go to Walmart and get all this taken care of. So just for the people that may not know, look, I know my I know my hood button is. But um for the people that may not know, I'm not gonna assume that everybody knows about this. So go ahead and give y'all quick information anyway. Most people know, but I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna assume that everybody knows. But for anybody that's trying to find out like what is this what uh oil goes to your car all you gotta do is lift your hood up and it'll tell you on the uh on the top of the oil can so as you can see right there zero w40 is what goes in there synthetic only it's recommended and now it's a lot of stuff about cars like this that's recommended because of the kind of car it is like performance wise and all that kind of good stuff it's windy, so y'all probably can hear me, so I'm just talking a little loud. <laughs> but, like, against a lot of stuff that's recommended for cars like that. Just any kind of car that's performance-wise with, you know, a lot of horsepower. They go with scat packs and RTs, what, um, Shelby's, SS, ZL1s, all that kind of stuff. It's always stuff that's recommended. And it's recommended, you know, for the most, you know, to get the, to get the best performance out of your car. So synthetic oil is what's, um recommended for that you know so just like using 93 supreme gas is what's recommended for now you can put regular gas if you want to i mean it's completely on your choice but to get like the absolute best out of the car that's what you got to use to you know to get the best performance out your car so we're gonna go in here right now and get this get this oil i'll let y'all see what i use um y'all can comment down below let me know what kind of oil you use in your car so I'd much rather be using uh, Penn's oil because it's probably like the best one as far as like, to me, that I think anyway, that I feel Penn's oil is probably like the best oil you can get, but as I was, every time I come here, they never have any for the uh, Zero W40, uh, which is what's used in the Hellcat. So most of the time I always go with Mobile One and get theirs, uh, which is right. So, Walmart didn't have didn't have any OW40, so uh, which actually sucks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and head to AutoZone. That means I gotta go up there and try to get a filter and oil. Now, uh, usually when I go and I get my oil, I try to get two of the big jugs because um, I think it's like five gallons or something like that. So of course I end up getting ten gallons because when you get your oil changed, um, my car takes seven gallons to fill up, and so. <laughs> You know, most places they're not just gonna give you like half the work because they gotta charge you. 
you know, full price for whatever they do. So they're not gonna just give you, you know, like half oil or whatever. So you have to get seven quarts or seven, whatever it is. <laughs> I thought I've been saying gallons all the time, but seven, seven quarts. So of course, you know, I just go ahead instead of buying like the five. Man, I'm repeating this also, man. But um, um, instead of just going to get the five quarts and then get two of the little ones, I just go and get uh, two big ones. So when the next time I have an oil change, I have a little left over. So all I gotta do is go and buy a five, you know. So I kind of feel like I'm, you know, saving a little money like that. At least I feel like I am anyway. But uh, so we have the auto zone right now, so we can try to get this oil. Cause I'm 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 riding real dirty right now. Yeah, shout out to Old Riley, man. So I went ahead and stopped at Old Riley to see if they had it right before I went to AutoZone. Shout out to them for having it, man. Huh. As you can see, five quarts. You need seven to get your oil changed. So I'm gonna probably end up getting two of these. All right, got my filter that I need. Now, what I really been thinking about doing, I really been thinking about getting this stuff so that I can start changing my own. Uh, Change my own oil, of course, it'll be a lot cheaper that way because now I got all lit. All this is probably gonna come out to probably, uh, I ain't no tell how much, but then I gotta pay to get the work actually done when I could just pay for that and then go and take the time and change my own oil. So that is my next step. I'm gonna start changing my own oil. Uh, how many of y'all actually change our own oil, man, instead of like going to paying for it? Because again, it's gonna come out a lot cheaper that way. So I got all the stuff that I need, man filter to my oil so now I gotta go get it done because I've been riding real dirty lately so this is where I come to and Irvin right here that's where I come to get my oil changed they probably like when you bring your own oil and stuff like that hey about uh, like $25 I know for your first time they take $15 off once you come in and put all your information in and stuff like that so that always helps <laughs> the much money you can save the better so this right here is what I mean when I say like they don't lift the car in the air. As you can see the little cage down there, they actually go underground and change the oil for you. So you ain't gotta worry about, you know, them pulling your car in wrong. I've seen I just seen a lot of videos where people lift their car up, you know, come to a shop, you know, just like this. They get their car lifted in the air and just anything goes wrong, just like, you know, anything can happen. So that car end up like falling over anything. So it's always safer and better just to go ahead and uh and get to where you can come in and get it, you know, put, you know. Where they don't have to lift it up, they just take it on the ground. Nice sound. Nice sound. Ferocious, brother. Ferocious. <laughs> Ferocious. So here's what we got going on. Oh man, we got some bad news. <laughs> well, your car takes a. Uh the 040 full mm. synthetic mm. and we don't have that oil here i got it in the car oh do you yeah it's in the car it's oh, in the seat i didn't know that yeah it's in the seat yeah 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 it's okay. all right here i didn't know that yeah i got the uh the oil in there and then i got the filter in there too okay so yeah all right so it'll be around 30 bucks or so okay that's cool all right yeah. I, back on. I didn't know that oh yeah i thought you my bad i thought you saw it my bad no i sure did So, so most of the time with certain cars it's pretty much not the norm if you're going to get your oil changed either you have to pay extra to get them to you know have some oil shipped in for you or which i mean which is going to be very pricey you're going to be looking at like an easy hundred dollar oil change 70 to 80 dollar oil change just for the oil change that's not buying the oil or the filter just for the oil change period or you can always go and buy your own oil and then come in and you know you can get it changed for a lot cheaper like 30 dollars <laughs> but um it's another place that i go to it's just way out the way but it's they only charge like 15 dollars to get my oil change so um if i if it, i mean right now it's like five o'clock here so of course everybody knows it's traffic time and everybody getting off work and getting out of school or whatever so i went from the driveway over there just to get my oil changed so i came right here which is the first place usually come to anyway which again it's not bad you know they're pretty cheap they're good on pricing it's safe because they go on the ground to get it done so 
I always come here for the most part. Now, again, if I had the time, I would went way, way, way out the way to get my oil tank. Right. We can come here today, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And look at these brothers, man. They changing. Make sure I got the right tire pressure and everything. That's what I'm talking about. See, y'all come up here, man. They gonna get you right, man. So, it should be all right. done. Look, and they clean the window too. Look at that. My window was super dirty. Yeah, it's all done, man. All done. Look at the service, man. They clean the window. They check your child, <laughs> their child pressure. They check your tire pressure, everything, right? Make sure you are good before you leave. That's why I always come up here. Sometimes just to get the best quality, you have to just go ahead and pay the extra money. Like I could have went to where I went, you know, dropped the easy $15. Oil chain, no problem. But I'm not gonna get all that service right there, man. Checking the tire pressure, making sure that you know my window clean, all that. I'm not gonna get all that, man. So that's why I like to come up here. Then again, I, I know for a fact the car is safe as far as like, you know, it not being up high and all that kind of good stuff. I've seen them do work, so I know that the work is good as far as changing oil. So it's nothing I have to worry about when I bring my car up here. So that's why, for the most part, I always bring my car up here every time I get my oil changed. So again, I do not take my car to the dealership to get it changed. I don't do it at all. Free and all, I don't take my car up there whatsoever. Because like I said, like they have a lot of people that's learning about cars they have working on those cars back there. So a lot of times your car will get messed up and stuff of that nature. I've, like I said, I've had I've had and I've ran into problems where I get my oil change just from getting oil change. I never thought you know you could run the problem from getting an oil change at a dealership. But I mean clearly I <laughs> I was wrong. So I don't take my car to the dealership to get the oil change. I always go somewhere where I know it's safe. And she is done. She is done, man. Look at that. See that squeaky man? They gotta go. It ain't bad. Like I said, it's not that bad, but it's letting me know it's time to get some more brakes, which is just, I gotta get that done next time, too. So, that's coming. Everything looking good, boss? Yeah, just trying to uh, reset your whole life for you. Alright, so we are all done as you can see. We are back. Oh, when the red key moves. Yeah, we are back to 100%. Had a little extra left over, so I guess it's always a good thing to have a little extra left over. But, so that's the video, man. Uh, like I said, comment down below. Let me know what kind of oil you use. Let me know if you change your own oil or not. I said, um, that's what I'm gonna end up starting to do. Because um, again, you save a lot more money that way. Um, instead of having to come here and pay for somebody else to do it, when you can just do it yourself. So that's probably gonna end up being my next move, man. Uh, I'm gonna start getting my own oil. I'm gonna start taking my own oil. So, but that's it for the video, man. Y'all let me know if y'all like the video. Smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, man, make sure you subscribe to one of the fastest growing car channels on YouTube. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all, man, that subscribed, that's watching, commented, and all that good stuff, man. Y'all are a blessing to my life, and I hope I'm a blessing to yours. But y'all already know how in every last one of my videos, man, whoever told you the sky's the limit lied to you because we know absolutely no limit. So let's get this money.